Chicago, Chicago Public Schools removed teachers from the classroom immediately when sex abuse allegations surfaced. But where are those suspended teachers going? Morning Insider Lauren Victory has been pressing the district with that question since December and finally received some rather surprising answers. Chicago Public Schools suspended 194 employees in less than two years following some serious claims by students. At least 105 of them are under investigation for incidents involving physical contact or inappropriate conversations. 37 CPS workers are accused of something explicitly sexual. CBS2 calculated those stats after carefully combing through suspension records. Allegations against teachers specifically include making students sit on his lap and tried to kiss at least one of them, watching pornography on his cell phone during class, grooming, giving student candy and leaving notes in their lockers. Some employees are immediately sent home while the district investigates, but accused teachers, up until a few months ago, were sent to what are called network offices. Some are located at shuttered schools and office buildings across Chicago. But four network offices are under this roof, across the street from an elementary school. Another four are inside CPS schools. Records show a teacher accused of physical and verbal abuse of a student spent at least nine months at the Network 6 office, located inside Richard Crane Medical Prep. This assignment letter informs another teacher under investigation that he must report directly to the Network 3 office, which is inside Michelle Clark Magnet High School. A deeper dive into his file reveals accusations that teacher, quote, lifted the shirt of one of his students to see progress and takes photographs of students. He spent at least seven and a half months here on paid leave. CPS tells us all their network offices inside schools have a separate entrance, but we timed it. It takes less than a minute to walk from Michelle Clark Magnet School's main entrance to the Network 3 office. Still, CPS and employees temporarily assigned to these locations were closely checked in and monitored. That's not necessary anymore. After providing information CBS2 formally requested for this report, CPS said, quote, out of an abundance of caution, employees under investigation are no longer assigned to networks located on school property. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. So where are they going now? Accused teachers are being paid to sit at home while the district investigates.